Alright guys, so this was like a spur of the moment, honestly. I was going through, looking at my makeup desk, and just looking at all of these lip products that I never use. And honestly, at this point, I think that I'd like to get rid of some. So this is going to be a lip declutter, which I feel like I did one so, like, like not even six months ago. But I just don't think that I was cutthroat enough. I think that I was holding back because, you know, oh, it's a really cute lip color for filming a video or, you know, whatever. Yeah, no, excuses, excuses. But yeah, today I want to get rid of some. I have so many and it's just like overwhelming me. So yeah, let's get into this. No more whining. I've got a ton of them. We're going to go through, like these are just some reds. I was putting the reds and the pinks together. We're going to go th through these first because I think this is going to be like a little bit easier to go through. These are all like the purples and the dark colors. Like where did this stuff come from? All right. <coughs> so yeah, guys, some of this stuff I'm looking and I know for a fact it's leaving, it's going, I'm just not keeping it. I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, lip palette that if I want like a funky color I can mix one myself or you know like if there is one or two in here then I'll keep those but there is no reason for me to have this many like really dark vampy purpley colors and whatnot because I'm just never ever going to wear them so yeah let's start going through this stuff I'm just gonna pick some stuff out uh two of these from AOA Studios I've had these for quite some time. This is Digital and Solo. These are just leaving. They are really nice. I like the formula and everything. It's just, you know, they're older and like these colors, I'm never, I'm never gonna wear that as a lip. Let's go in here. See, it's just not gonna happen. So, these are going in the away pile, and depending on how old this stuff is, I will pass it on to, you know, people that I know, yada yada. Other than that, you know, a lot of it will probably go in the trash, just because lip products, you know, you gotta be careful with that kind of stuff. Anyways, I have two liquid cat suits. This one is the shade Everlasting Envy. Oh, I remember liking this, though. No, it's leaving. So, yeah. This one's going as well. It's super pretty. The actual color of it is really beautiful. But I just can't. I just can't. Then we have this one, which is Redling. I think this was part of their, like, you know, Fire and Ice. Uh, it's not all that good, even. Yeah, no, this one's going to go as well. I'm just not going to wear it. These, I just can't stand the taste of them. And I know that there's some other ones in app. Ah. So these are also going. These are the Essence Vibrant Shock Lip Paints. And honestly, it's just the smell. Like, the smell is just not something I want to be a part of anymore. So yeah, they're onward and upward. I'm going to like bring you guys in just so we can see what's going on a little better. Yeah, maybe that's a little better. Anyway, um, I am going to keep, this is the Melted Metallic. This one is in the Iridescent shade. I really love this. This is so pretty. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. And honestly, I paid like $25 for it and I feel bad. So yeah, this is a keep. That was the first keep. Um, I have some of these. These are the Physicians Formula, Formula, Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lips. I'm going to keep all of them because they're pretty brand new. And all of them are like pretty neutral kind of shades. So I'm 
I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep this Smashbox. This is the Liquid Pigment in Brick. So pretty. Like, I, it's a gloss, so I don't think I would ever wear it, like, out-out. But it is so pigmented. I really like it. Um, one I am going to get rid of is, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is in the shade Ice Out. And although it is so pretty, like, come on, I never wear this. And, you know, like, they're getting older, and I want somebody to be able to, like, use them, like my sister or, you know, whoever. This NYX Strictly Vinyl, I'm going to keep this. I think, like, this is really pretty. And it's kind of just like a nudie, cool tone shade. I'm going to give away, this is the Sephora Lip Stories. I just, I hate this color. I never wear this color. So, that is leaving. Another AOA Studios and another like cool tone, mauve -y shade. This is going as well. Ooh, yeah, you know what? This is going as well. This is the Hello Halo, and it's just really blue on the lips. It's super pretty, and I didn't get them very long ago, so that's a plus for whoever wants them. These are the Essence Matte Lipsticks. I am going to keep all of these. I love the formula of these, and most of them are super wearable. Like, it's just in honesty, I just, I am not as crazy on my lips as I am on my eyes. It's just like honesty. Um, I am going to keep all of these NYX soft matte lip creams, even the two weird colored ones, just because, you know, I just bought them. I just bought the set, so I do want to use them a little more. And, you know, if I don't use them, which I feel like I won't, I will declutter them later. I'm also going to declutter, this is the Mega Last Lip Color in London Skies from Wet n Wild. It's literally a gray lipstick. Ugh, I'm so bad with this kind of stuff. This is the Bite Lipstick in, oh, what is this? Aubergine. Should I keep this? It's super pretty, but I just, you know what, I'm going to keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Ooh, this on the other hand. Like, honestly, do I keep this? Like, this is a Huda Beauty liquid matte. This was one of their sets. It also came with this gloss. This is in the Enchanted gloss. The gloss is pretty, and I like to keep that, but like the liquid lipstick, it's just like, it's gray. Like, it's definitely gray. So I'm just, and that is my floor. I'm not farting. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep the lip, the lip gloss. I'm going to give away the liquid lipstick. Wow, that was hard. This is a Laura Mercier lipstick. Ooh, what color is this? An Affair. Yes, I am keeping that. That is so creamy. Ooh, okay, this one, I wanted it to work so badly, but in all honesty, it's way too, like, dark and pigmented, and it's so creamy, it just slides around on me. I'm gonna keep this one. This is Touch of Berry from e.l.f. Super, super light. I really like that. I just moved you guys back out a little bit because like the swatches are like moving up my hand. So I'm like, okay, well, all right. We have this one. I think I'm going to keep this one. This is Foiled Brat by Smashbox. I bought the entire set of these and it's just like, how the heck? So pretty. Then I have these ColourPop minis. And it, the shades are beautiful. Ooh, that one's so pretty. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one. They're a little bit older, but honestly, like, they all work well. Um, some of them I've used up, 
which I think I'm going to just take the lid off the ones that I've used up. Like, that's so pretty. That's such a pretty berry shade. Let me see if I've used... Did I use the lip yet? No, I haven't used that one up. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to keep these because they're really handy. Ooh, this is a Velvet Mousse from Hard Candy. I got a few sets over Christmas. Mm, no, we're going to give that away. I just don't need any more of those shades. We're also going to give this away. This is like one of their little mini sets. This one is a the Velvet Mousse in, uh, ooh, doesn't have a name. Like, such a pretty color, and it's so, so pigmented, but, like, I'm never going to wear a color that light. I'm just not. I just don't wear that kind of stuff on the lips. Then I have these wonderful cushions by Sephora. I did like these at one point, but this shade right here, it's so dark that it's absolutely just an oh like look at how pretty that is though every time i swatch it i'm always like oh i wish the applicator wasn't so dumb but yeah it is so it's definitely leaving this is the ColourPop ultra satin lip in prim Ooh, oh i'm keeping that I know I will probably never wear that, but that is so freaking pretty. And I think that if my collection was way downsized, I'd use more of this stuff. I am going to keep this one. I love this one. This is the Essence Hello Halo in Scarab, Scarab Wings. Yes, Scarab Wings. And it's so iridescent. It's hard to show. There you go. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to get rid of this one as well, this like super purple. This is the Mariposa brand, but look at how pigmented that is. They are liquid lipsticks, and I'm just not into it anymore. Okay, guys, so we're going to go into the pinks now, and I've got like a whole bunch of like higher end mini lipsticks that I have to go through, and then all my nudes. So let me get it all over here and let me wipe Fight off for my, my life. I had to reassemble the, the, the card and everything. Oh my gosh. Pinks. There are a few that aren't pink, like uh, this one here, which is a liquid suede. I'm going to keep those. So let's just get those out of the way because I know that there's a few that are in my collection right now. Okay. So let's just go through the ones that I know I'm keeping. The two Fenty ones, definitely keeping. Oh, goodness. This one is so dark so dark but it's so pretty and their formula is great i also want to keep my lippy sticks from ColourPop. this one is so dry though this is the lippy stick in persuasion and the one in lullaby baby is so freaking pretty though and so like creamy beautiful what is this a matte x um, this one is from NARS. It's so pink. Essence. Can I keep it? This from Joe Fresh. I really like this. This was Shea, Br Shea Butter. It doesn't really show up as much on the lips, so... These Physicians Formula ones, I think I'm going to keep them. All the colors are pretty normal. Ooh, this one I'm definitely going to keep. This one from, oh, I just broke the packaging. This one from Essence. I've had this for quite some time now. Oh, don't roll up the lipstick like that. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these ones. This one from Flower Beauty. I loved the color, and I think I'm going to keep it just because the color is so pretty. I'm going to keep this one from Smashbox. This one I'm going to get rid of. This is the Ma Kitty Cat Matte. Ooh. Do I want this one from Essence? No. Ooh, this one I'm going to keep, though. Super pretty red. Got some... Mm, 
nude ones mixed in here. Ooh, that's so pretty. Yeah, we're going to keep both of those. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Bittersweet. It's super pretty as well. I'm going to keep this one as well. This one is Seraphine. Super beautiful liquid lipstick. Oh, okay. So I got this set of Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. You know what? This one is leaving. I just, I am never, ever, ever going to wear that. I'm never going to wear it. This one is passable. This AOA Studio one, you know what? As much as I do actually like this, it's just drying up. Needs to go. This is a Velvet Mousse from Hard Candy. Let's swatch this. Too light. Trying to be more cutthroat. I love this one from ColourPop. This is in the shade London Fog. I think I'm going to keep the lippy sticks with the lip liners just because that's so handy. Oh. Yeah, they both have some left. I'm going to, hmm, I know every time I put this on, it seems great, but it's not. You know what? I'm going to give that away as well. Ooh, a little bite. I'm going to keep this one for sure. This one. This is so light as well. You know what? I'm giving away this one as well. It's just so freaking light. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills in Orchid. This is a Smashbox Mini. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Bad Girl. It It is super pretty, but I don't need it. Then I have another Anastasia. Oh, see, this is so light as well. Like, I guess this one... You know what? I'm going to give away this one and maybe take Orchid back. Yeah. Just because it, like, at least Orchid seems, like, better. I don't know. We'll see if I use it. I'm keeping this lippy stick in Fly Fi. Such a pretty color. Like, oh, it's like a burnt orange. So beautiful. Got another little bite. Ooh, this one is in Sweet Cream. Oh, look at how pretty that is. You just gotta be careful with these mini lipsticks. And then we have one of these again. Now, I remember this one. Whoa, yeah, no. This is leaving. All right, let's, uh, let's get the nudes in here, guys. Oh my gosh, see, we're going through this quick now. So, heat box right here. Okay, giveaway pile over there. Let's start, shall we? The first one I have is an essence gloss. I remember really liking this gloss. Oh, it's so pretty. You know what? I'm keeping it. Why not? These, they just smell bad. This is the Bite Beauty Liquefied Lipstick in Chutney. Yeah, they just have this odd smell that I just don't love. Uh, this one is going to leave as well. I loved this shade, though, Chai. Actually, you know what? Now, I'm going to keep this one. This is the shade Chai in the AOA Studios. I just want to keep it because I want it as reference that it really was like a super, super, a super beautiful lipstick and I just feel like I've, I will forget about it if it's not in my collection. So I have all of these little baby lipsticks from all of these brands and I think I'm just going to pick them all up right now and put them off to the side because chances are I'm keeping all of them but I do want to go through them all and just kind of, you know, show you. This might as well be like a lip collection. And I have a ton of them because I shop on Sephora all the freaking time. And they are constantly giving out lipstick samples and little baby lipsticks. 
of different brands and since I don't buy a whole lot of full size lipsticks I tend to get suckered into that a lot. <laughs> um, also I have a few more of those NYX lipsticks I'm going to set aside because I know I'm keeping them. I have the corresponding um, liners as well so I don't want to screw that up. All right, I think I've got most of them out of here. See, I've got so many of those little, oh my gosh, here's another one. Like, and I have more, like this is, looks a little more full size, but it's a mini as well. So is this one, like, so is this one, so is this one, so is this one, this one, this one, all of my lippies are minis. You can see how much I love lipstick. <laughs> Mom, mind you, I have bought a few um, mini sets. Like, of course, like all the next ones are minis. I just like mini lips. I like the the, the giveaway ability because I don't like I don't keep lip products all that long, and I don't I don't love lip products as much as I love other makeup. I don't know. It's a weird thing with me, I guess. Anyway, let's go into some of this stuff. So this right here, this I used forever. I actually think that this was in one of my old project pans. This is Golden Peach by Tarte, and it's literally just a balm. It's just a peachy balm. And I'm wondering, like, do I keep this? Maybe I should. I'm going to keep it. Maybe I'll throw it in my purse. I have this. This is brand new. This is the lipsticks from Morphe. I bought one of their sets off of Sephora. This is super pretty. I am definitely not giving this up. Also something that I'm not giving up. This is the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. Ooh, I love this so much. It's so pretty. So I'm definitely keeping that. Um, I'm going to keep this, uh, I'm at, no, you know what, I'm going to give away this healthy lips. It's just kind of weird. It's very shimmery, but it's got like this pink iridescent milkiness that I just don't vibe with. Um, I'm picking up all of these sticks. Yes, I want that one for sure. It's so pretty. Yes, I'm going to keep all of the lippy sticks, and I'm also going to keep for sure these from Too Faced. Oh, they smell like heaven. This is in the shade Sex on the Peach. These are their peach lipsticks. Oh, look at how pretty that is. And it's so, oh, so creamy. I love these lipsticks. They're so luxe. Like, they feel so heavy. I think they did such a good job with them. You see that color? Wow, I'm, like, losing space. Um, you know what? I'm going to give away this Milani. It separates all the time, and it's not that it's a bad product it's actually really pretty like take a look at that the shimmer on there is beautiful but I just yeah I don't use it maybe I can sanitize it and you know one of my girlfriends can use it or something okay we've got hard candy velvet this color just too dark too light I'm gonna keep these I'm going to keep all of the healthy lips from Physicians Formula. I'm going to throw away this AOA Studios one. I'm going to keep the Morphe Gloss. Oh, that's staying, stay, stay. What do we got here? Okay, this is a little too milky. These are the Cashmere Silks from Hard Candy. They're super pretty, but this one is just way too light this one. Ooh, I think I really loved this one though. This one was a pretty shade. Yeah, see that burnt orange lip gloss? I just died. I'm going to keep this as well. This is the best Becca Christie Teigen gloss. It's pretty nice. I've got a gloss from Laura Mercier that I really love. I've worn this so many times. It's just like a clear gloss giving away this is way too cool toned I just don't look all that good in like super cool toned so going to give that away I'm also going to give away this velvet this is in the shade do they have shade names on these right now that's so weird either way it's too light for me oh I really loved this lip gloss I'm going to keep I'm going to keep this one as well I'm going to get rid of this CoverGirl. This is their um, Melted Pout Matte Lipstick. 
it's just a really dark brown and I just never wear colors like that. I don't know why I bought it. I'm gonna keep the Anastasia and the Smashbox and the Artist Couture Gloss. Also gonna keep this Smashbox one. Going to keep the Essence. Oh no, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's a really beautiful milky gloss, but this one I'm going to actually probably replace it with. This is so pretty. Let's put these over there. Oh, did the little stopper just come out? Oh no, okay. Look how pretty that gloss is. Like, ah, so pretty. So yes, I'm going to keep this. I got this for free. It's called We Who from ColourPop. They were like late on an order, so they gave me a freebie. All right, the Powder Puff by NYX. I really like this as well. I'm going to give away this cashmere. Oh, this ColourPop one is pretty. I'm going to keep this one. Dark Brown is out. I'm going to keep this one. I can't even remember getting this one from... See, like melt, I don't, or bite, I can't even remember getting this one. This is so pretty. This is their clear stick. I'm going to keep that. Oh, I love this lipstick from Sephora. Oh, no. Okay, that is garbage. I loved this lipstick. Oops. I will get that. Another a little too light. Mm, this one I've had for too long. Oh, I like that color. And I do like this color. And then I've got these two from Bite Both, I think. Yes. Mm, I'm going to keep this one. It's pretty. Ooh, and I'm also going to keep this one. Yeah, these two, like, they're just everyday shades that I really should be wearing more often. This Flower Beauty, this is in the shade Nude Nectar. Such a pretty gloss. And then, um... This one doesn't look all that good. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this one as well. This is the ColourPop in Dopey Ultra Satin Lip. All right, so all we have left, guys, and I'm so excited. I got rid of so much. I'm so proud of myself. Um, we're going to go through these minis. Now, chances are I'm not throwing out any of them so that I'm just letting you know right now. But, you know, I see a couple that I might be able to get rid of. So Melted Matte from Too Faced Queen Bee, going to keep... Another Melted Matte. This one is Sellout. Gonna keep, gonna keep this Clarins. This is their Instant Light Lip Control Oil. I'm gonna put this in my skincare, I think. Laura Mercier. Devotion. Oh, like so pretty. That shade is beautiful. Also, this Buxom. This is the lip gloss in, ooh, what is it? Like the White Russian. Yes, definitely keeping that. ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Strip. This one, I literally, like, was experimenting on the cap, but the actual lipstick is really pretty, and I love it. I have the Pat McGrath lipsticks, which one of them, like, fell out onto the floor on me. Still keeping them. It's a good reminder. I have two uh, Tom Ford minis. One of the, like, this one is so pretty. This is in the shade Casablanca. Like, it's just a really beautiful lippy. But this one is, like, way out there. This is in the shade True Coral. Oh, so cute. So pretty. So pretty. Gonna keep those as well. Oh, oh I have an Urban Decay full size in here. I love this shade. This is beautiful. This is Comfort Matte in 1993. I know, dark browns, but I do like this lipstick. And then the other one I have is in Manic. Super pretty, like kind of a burnt red. Anastasia Gloss. This is in the shade St. Tropez. This is so pretty. I wonder if I can swatch this. Oh, like look at the metal on that. So beautiful. Gonna keep that. Gonna keep this Marc Jacobs one. Same kind of deal there. Oh, Makeup Forever. This is so cool toned. You know what? I need a couple. Yeah, I'll keep this one. Another one that's super cool toned. This is in Birthday Suit. Oh, it's kind of warm. See, I just gotta wear these. This is the Jouer Stardust. They need to be shooken up sometimes. Like, the oil seeps out a little bit. But, like, you cannot deny that that is pretty. Oh, 
All right. Anastasia keeping another, what is this? Laura Mercier? Yeah, Laura Mercier keeping, 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 uh, giving away, honestly. This one, never ever use this, honestly, so I'm going to give that away as well. Keeping this one from Shiseido, I just got that one. I'm going to give away the mousse. Oh, this one's older. We're going to keep that one. Kat Von D, first one. Bite. I like these ones a lot. They're just, you gotta be fragile with them. I have a couple of these. They're really good. Alright guys, gonna give away that one. This one, is it really worth keeping? Ooh, it's pretty. Yes, we're going to keep that one as well. All right, guys. So give me a second and let me compile myself and show you what I'm keeping, what I'm giving away. All right. So although this does look so crazy, it's super organized and I'll be able to actually get into these little drawers down here, which is really what I wanted. So lip products. Every single one is in these two drawers and then I kept these little containers. You can get these from Dollar Tree normally. And then I have these two little lip palettes that are so good but oh, I never use them. I need to use them. Anyway, they're not like completely organized right now but like I put all of my darker shades down here, nudes up here. I'll probably do a little more organizing but yeah. These are all the lippies that I am just getting rid of. I'm going to, oh, sorry guys. I'm going to sanitize the ones that I think are able to be given away and throw away some of the ones that I just don't think are worth it. All right. See you later, guys. Bye.